Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on equating the areas of fractions of circles or full circles to determine a length. So shape A here is a semicircle, half a circle, with radius 15 centimetres as we can see. Shape B is a circle. The area of A is 4.5, 4.5 times the area of B. Work out the radius of the circle B. Now we're told that the area of A is equal to 4.5 times the area of B. So let's find the area of A first. So area of A. Now remember what the area of a full circle is. If we have the radius of the circle R, then the area is equal to pi times by the radius squared. So we're going to need to use that formula. So if we start the area of a full circle, imagining it's a full circle, it's pi multiplied by, remember in algebra when things are next to each other, you times them, so pi times by r squared, so pi times by 15 squared, because we can see, look, that is the radius from the centre of the circle to the edge. Uh, now we've only got half a circle, we don't want the area of a full circle, so we need to divide it by 2 to just have area of half the circle. Now if we do that on a calculator, I, well, I can do it in my head, I think that's 112.5 pi. Your calculator will leave your answer in terms of pi. It might say 225 over 2 pi. Just leave your answer as that rather than converting it to a decimal. There's a good reason for it. Now, we don't know the area of B, but we can just give it a radius. Just say that the, the radius is R, and we want to find that radius of circle B. So we want to find R. So we can say the area of A, so the area of A, which we worked out was this, is, is equal to 4.5 times, I'm literally just using the words in the sentence and turning it into an equation, so 4.5 times by the area of B. Now, if B has a radius of R, the area is just pi R squared, so it's pi R squared, that's the area. So the area of A is 4.5 times by the area of B, where we've got some unknown radius R. So if I just simplify this a bit, when I do 4.5 lots of pi r squared, I can just get rid of the time symbol. You can just write it as 4.5 pi r squared. And let's see what we might be able to divide by. We're trying to work out r, so we need to get r on its own. Now, can you see that we've got pi on both sides? We could divide both sides by pi. I'm just going to cross them out. So we're just left with 112.5 is equal to 4.5 r squared. Now we're still trying to get R on its own. R is being squared and then it was multiplied by 4.5. So we want to undo the last thing done to R. I'm going to divide both sides by 4.5. You might be tempted to square root both sides at this point because you think, oh, R is being squared. I should square root to get to R. But the thing is you would have to also square root the 4.5. Now because R is being squared first, then multiplied by 4.5, I would divide by 4.5 first. It's much simpler. So I'm going to do 112.5 divided by 4.5. And that is conveniently 25. And then when I divide this by 4.5, it just gets rid of the 4.5, leaving just R squared. And then how do you get rid of the squared? What squared is 25? Well, to get rid of the squared, you just square root both sides. The square root of 25 is 5. And the square root of R squared is just R. So we can see that the radius is 5. And because that was in centimetres, this will be in centimetres as well. So the radius is 5 centimetres. That's the radius of that circle B there. 